Hey guys, what's up? Apple Fanatic, and today I have a video on how to bypass the iOS 5 Beta 2 UDID activation screen. Um, this will only work for the iPhone 4 and iPhone 3 just because it takes advantage of the emergency dialer. So let's get started. Um, a word to the wise, you will be dialing an emergency number in order to bypass this. You do not have to let it go to ring, but for a short period of time, you will have to dial it. Also, this will be require a jailbreak at which time, unless you're running an iPhone 3GS old boot ROM, it is tethered. Um, so like 95% of you phone users out there with that 3GS or later, so iPhone 3GS or iPhone 4, will be tethered. Um, which basically means you have to plug it into your device, your computer every time, whether it's a Mac or PC, you plug it in every time you need to use it. Um, so let's get started like I just said in order to do this you're going to need iOS beta 2 iOS 5 beta 2 running on your device you're going to need a copy or the firmware iOS 5 beta 1 so you can re uh, redirect red snow to that um, but yeah let's let's go so once your device has rebooted or once it's restored to um, iOS 5 just show it is on iOS 5 beta 2 there you go you're going to want to go ahead and open up red snow the version of Red Snow, I believe, is, um, let's see, where is it? Right here, Red Snow. You see that? Red Snow 0 0.9 beta 6, beta 1, no, 9.8 beta 1. So you're going to want to go ahead and open that. Let me zoom out. Drag it down so it's in screen, and we're gonna want to go ahead and browse for your firmware because now you'll be jailbreaking it. Um, and of course, if I didn't mention already, don't go ahead and touch this because it will screw up your device. If you um have don't touch it yet, don't do anything because um the beta the beta bypasser will work. However, it's kind of pointless because you uh, will not be able to plug it into your your iTunes. So um. We're going to want to select the firmware, so iPhone 4.5.0. I believe it's this one. So once it's identified, you're just going to want to go ahead and hit next. All right, now you're going to want to go ahead and just install Cydia. Okay, now you're going to want to turn your device off. Making sure it is plugged into iTunes or into your computer at this point, and make sure iTunes is closed or iTunes should actually automatically close once Red Snow opens up. All right, now you're going to want to go ahead and hit next and hold down the power button for three. Two, one. Now hold down the power and home button continuously for another six seconds or until your device turns off and then a few seconds after that. So now you can let go of the power, but you're just going to want to continue hold the home. All right, so now you can see on the screen that it is doing its uh, thing. All right. Now, if you're using a Windows computer at this time, it would probably say installing drivers. So this will take a little longer the first time if you've never done this before. All right. Now, once you are done, instead of hitting finish, you're just going to want to go ahead and hit back, and you can let go of your device now. Just put it to the side, and now you're just going to want to go down here and hit just boot tethered, and don't hit next yet. You got to wait for your device to reboot. So I will come back when my device is all ready, and I can show you. All right, so now your device should reboot it, um, and you will get back to this screen. At this time, your device will still be tethered. So, like I said before, you have now checked just boot tether. Now you're gonna hit next, and now you're gonna want to go ahead, and we're gonna do the same this whole procedure again. So we're gonna power off our device. We're actually gonna do a quick power down, and now we're gonna hold the power button for three, two, one. Now let go of the power, but continue holding the home, and at this time you can go ahead and just hit the next button. It doesn't really matter what time you hit the next button, just as long as you hit it. So now it's exploding with Lime Rain. It's uploading the first stage.
All right, so now we have a pineapple. All right, now you can hit finished on red snow. And the next part, I will come back when it's done rebooting. And we can show you the, right, by this step. time, you should um, actually have gotten to the, the, step um, the, the uh, iPhone screen. Now you're just gonna slide the setup and you're gonna select English. Hit the next button or whatever language you speak. Hit the next button and double click, the double tap the home button. And you'll get the emergency call. Just gonna hit emergency call. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just dial one, one, two. I'm gonna hit call. You're gonna wanna hit the home button once now. All right, so now you're gonna hit touch to return it to call. Now you're gonna hit the end button. Let it end. And now you can hit the home button. And you should have bypassed the activation screen. So um, now you are out of it. If you didn't know how to do that, I will um, show you again. So um, actually, I can't technically show you, but we'll open up the um, we'll open up the phone app, and you'll be greeted with this when you double tap the emergency home button, or you double tap the um, home button to get to the emergency screen. You're gonna type in one one two call now you're gonna hit the home button you're gonna to touch return to call you're gonna end call and you are now out of it simple all right so now you are at Cydia you're gonna hit Cydia you're gonna to go to developer Hit done, hit reload, and at this time you still won't have any bars at the top, and I'm not going to have bars because I'm on T-Mobile and I'm, I, like, I don't use this as a phone, I use this as a, um, what do you call it, I use it as a iPod, but if you use it on uh, um, AT&T or a, a official carrier, you just will, um, you'll have it up in the top once we are finished. Now you're gonna go down to manage, hit sources, edit, add, and now you're gonna add source repo dot bing ner dot com and you're gonna hit add source and now it's going to load. Now at this time I wanted to say dialing 112 or 911 is 100% illegal, but if you don't let it connect, then technically you're not gonna get in trouble. If, um, if it does connect, I do recommend just canceling it right away um, and then retrying it later. But like I said, um, this is illegal. I'm not held responsible for anything if you get caught or whatever happens, but you only should have to do this one or two times. So you should be fine. All right, so now it's gonna finish downloading the package. You're going to want to hit return to Cydia. So this is purely educational. If you get in trouble, don't blame me. You're going to go to Bigner. You're going to go down to Sam Prefs. Install. Confirm. And it's going to install a crap load of things. And it's, it's going to kick you back to the home screen. Um, where it says um, iPhone and stuff. All right, so now you're kicked out. You're gonna double tap the home screen again. I mean, double tap the home button again. Actually, at this time, you don't have to do that. You can just hit next, watch. Next, it's going to say, it's going to activate your phone. You can now either set up as a new iPhone, restore from iCloud backup, or restore from iTunes. We're just gonna set up as a new phone. Hit next. And I'm going to go ahead and just enter my Apple ID. Now, obviously, if you have an active UDID, you don't need to do this. 
But if you're like me and you want to use your iPhone on iOS 5 without using the phone feature, it does not allow you to do that. So this is a good feature. Or if you just want to try it out, but you don't want to pay five dollars for your active UD ID, this is also pretty easy to do. I'm gonna hit next on the setup iCloud. You can um, back up to it's a backup to iCloud once a day with five gigabytes of free storage. And you can back up to iCloud or back up to my computer. You can just back up to iCloud, hit next, turn find my iPhone on. You can send diagnostics, and now you can start using your iPhone. And now this is the final part. You're gonna plug in your device, and you're gonna want to go to Sam Prefs. You're gonna go to Utilities. You're gonna say Restore. You're gonna hit re Deactivate iPhone. Deactivated. It's going to bring you to this screen. You're going to get a message. Now, um, you're, like, you're just going to get this message again. You're going to start using iPhone, and you should be good to go. You just have to deactivate it one more time so every all the kinks are worked out. Now, you're going to open up Cydia. You're going to go ahead, reboot your device. Um, but obviously, once you reboot it, it's going to be tethered, so you're going to want to go ahead and open up red snow just so you have it on the side so I'm gonna hit my reboot device we'll open up red snow one final time with we'll browse um, only reason I'm not showing you this is because you've seen it all before we'll go over to iPhone the firmware So like I said, um, this is good for people that want to bypass the UDI activation, A, because they don't use your iPhone as an iPod Touch. I mean, they don't use your iPhone as a phone, but I have it, the active, I have the UDI deactivated. I'm just too lazy to um, go get a real SIM card to activate it. Now we're just going to hit boot tethered, and one last step, we're going to just turn our device off. And um, restarting your device will not kill the activation. Sam Prefs activates it for you. Um, don't obviously do this if you rely on an unlock. I should have said that earlier, but I'm just common sense. If you rely on unlock, stay the hell away from this because it will update your baseband and you'll lose your unlock ability. If you're on a carrier unlocked phone, go ahead and do it. Um, won't really kill anything. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So now our device is rebooted. It's rebooting. We're done. Hit finish. Pause the video. I'll come back real quick just to show you that it in fact does work. All right. So we rebooted and success. We now are, we still have um, access to our springboard. Let's open up iTunes just to do the final proof. And there we go. We have the ability to set it up. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll hit done. Hit no. And as you see below, we now have the ability to do Wi-Fi sync. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, that's my finger. My bad. So, Crabble Fanatic, this is me saying peace. And